Mortar is one of the most underrated cards of all time, and now a Mortar deck has absolutely taken over Clash Royale. That's right, this Mortar Hog Cycle deck is so, so flexible, allowing you to combine the playstyles of a Hog Cycle as well as a Mortar Cycle deck. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you how it's done. Starting things off, the opponent's rocking a bait deck. So of course, I'm going to have to roll delivery the goblins um, and then go in like so. He actually might be running the Mega Knight bait deck, um, which is probably not good. Yeah, okay. All right, he definitely is running the Mega Knight bait deck here. Hog's still going to get a couple hits. That is like the good thing about this deck is that like he does have no consistent way of stopping my hog. So here, I'm going to have to go with the roll delivery actually. Oh, wow. I actually did not have to go in with the roll delivery, but I should be fine. I mean... Okay, actually, I take that back. Uh, he's gonna minor, isn't he? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Um, oh god. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to hope that this works out here. Actually, it looks like it absolutely worked out. So the tower takes down the miner, and then it's gonna turn around and take down the bats. Okay, so let's go ahead. Another mortar here on offense. Looks like he's just gonna... Wow, he's just gonna tank this. Now, I know this deck usually, I mean, unless he's running some weird variation, usually will not have any sort of big spell. So... Um, what I can do is I can really take advantage of that and try to stack all of my units here. Um, so Mighty Miner is going to die, unfortunately, but actually, wow, Mighty Miner is still alive and it takes down the Prince. Oh my goodness, what a good defense there. Uh, I'm going to preemptively try to like put this bomb here so now he can't play anything oh and look at that it explodes the uh it explodes the goblin gang what i mean musketeer didn't get any hits but i mean what a play um so let's try to follow that up with a predictive log and we hit the predictive log oh my goodness what a fire play there to take the tower down musketeer here on defense of course he's gonna try with a big big offensive push but he'll be no match for my musketeer here followed up by my roll delivery just like that musketeer still alive and is going to take down the Prince, this is an absolutely dominating win. All right, the opponent rocking an Inferno Tower for this matchup, looking like probably a bait matchup. So, oh my goodness, it's actually Electro Giant. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, this is actually going to be kind of difficult here. So, the key here. Um, okay, so we're going to do roll delivery here. We have to protect our Musketeer here because it, it will die. She will die to that Electro Giants, but wow. Okay, we actually just straight up cleaned up that defense. Um, that defense of Mortal was absolutely not necessary. In the meanwhile, though, let's go ahead and turn that big defense into a positive Elixir trade and get some tower damage. Um, oh my god, he actually fails his hog pull there. Uh, okay, very, very nice. Very, very nice for me. I think I'm going to have to spend a roll delivery on this. Roll delivery probably will defend fully. Um, actually, it will not not so i have to log here wow okay that's really bad and yep as expected an electro giant in the back so the key here is we have to try not to give the opponent too much poison value actually why did i hog there that's oh my god he's just gonna go in with a prince okay wait wait, wait, wait. i am in trouble i'm actually in trouble here i know i said i was in trouble last time but like this time i'm like actually in trouble um so let's see here um so we do cycle back to a second musketeer here so we do defend the electro giant um, and wow, we actually just, <laughs> we actually just defended that. Oh my God. That's actually kind of crazy. Um, but this guy's running fireball and lightning. What a crazy deck, dude. What a crazy deck, but we'll go in with a mortar as well as a hog. Um, try to force the opponent's hand here. Um, Inferno tower. We're just going to absolutely disintegrate that. Um, and then we can just go in with a mighty miter. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. Unfortunately for me, the mighty miner does not distract the dark prince, but we can go in with another push here. Um, and wow, he's just going to play the electro giant like that. So that's a very nice hog connection. Only one hits, um, but we can go ahead and actually play a mortar up high. I doubt he's going to be able to lightning this. Um, and that should just be way too much of an overcommitment. Should be a good lock for us onto the tower. One more mortar hits and we'll be well within spell range. And just like that, a clean victory against Electro Giant. And it looks like for this matchup, we're going to be facing probably like a giant graveyard deck would be my guess. Um, so let's see here. We're going to log here. Mortar's going to get a couple hits, but yeah, giant graveyard can be tough here if we don't have the right cycle. And here, I am very weak to a giant graveyard, I'll be honest. No, it's a, actually a Sparky deck. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Probably a bad thing, actually, because, yeah, we just don't have an answer to his Goblin Giant here. Um, so I think what I'm going to have to do... Oh, this is going to be this is going to be tough. This is going to be really tough. Okay, so we go Musketeer first um, and then roll delivery as well. Um, so that, that'll tank up a shot here. Um, and then here uh, we can log as well. Actually, does log take that down? No, it doesn't. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That's so unfortunate, dude. Okay, but I mean, 
I guess at the end of the day, I can't really complain um, because I have the opponent's left tower down to 304. But I mean, man, if I had just... If that Sparky had dealt like 0% more damage, then I would have taken that tower. Uh, meanwhile, though, I'll go ahead and take the left tower here and just hopefully be able to defend this right side. OK, so immediately we're going to go like this. We're going to go with the delivery, followed up by a musketeer to defend this giant here. Um, we're going to take a little bit of damage, but again, we're a tower ahead, so we can afford to tank a little bit. And yeah, things are looking pretty good going into double. OK, so starting things off, we're going to go immediately with our mortar here on defense. So we're going to try to cycle as many defensive units as we can here. Um, and let's see what we're going to do. Oh my goodness, he's going to mirror his giants. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Hold the phone. What is this? What in the world is this defense here? Um, okay, well, luckily, some for some reason, the opponent doesn't seem to have a zap spell. So, like, okay, well, there's the zap, actually. So, it was just out of cycle. He will take my tower. No, he won't. Wow, we actually win. We actually win this matchup. 15 seconds left here. We actually win this matchup with an absolutely dominating push here. I mean, I originally thought Giant Sparky would have been a difficult matchup, but... I guess not. Oh my god, why would the opponent start with a minion horde at the bridge? Dude, why why would the opponent start with a minion horde at the bridge? Dude, that's eight elixir. Are you kidding me? Okay, anyways, here against this matchup, we've got a really interesting matchup actually. He's got minion horde minor bomber. I have no idea what this could be. Um, but oh my god, dude, the mortar actually destroys the bomber. Okay, that's so huge. That is so good for us. Um Probably Electro Giant, I'll say. Oh my god, okay. Wait, I didn't expect the prince to actually destroy the musketeer there. Oh boy, what a terrible play there. I tried to distract the opponent's minion horde, but that did not work at all. Oh my god, we're taking so much damage. Okay, let's reset. Let's reset. Oh my goodness, and he's running this? What in the world is he running? Okay, so let's go Mighty Miner here. Oh my god, okay, he's running a really weird deck. The thing is, I have to save my roll delivery. If I if I do not have my roll delivery for the minion horde, then I will lose the match like I did just now so let's see here mortar down and we're just gonna try to soak up as much as i can and then we'll go musketeer like so and we will get another mortar lock which uh, is pretty good and i do still have my uh my roll delivery in cycle so things are looking pretty good going into double yeah again i just as long as i save my as long as i save my roll delivery i'm gonna win this match okay let's go in with a log here like so um, spread all of this stuff apart. And then we'll go skeletons behind here like so. Um, hopefully should take something out here, but looks like that's not true. Oh my god, the bomber's gonna... Oh, I had to go with the hog there right into the... Right into the prince, unfortunately. Um, so let's see. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this. Um, and then go in with some skeletons behind like so. He's gonna zap and... He's gonna get really close to tower down here, so I really have to start making some moves. Um, let's go in with a log here. Oh, but he has a rocket. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We have to get a connection here. Uh, we have to connect here. We have to connect onto the tower. Um, let's see here. Roll delivery down. Um, let's go ahead and get our, our log down as well. And I mean, his rocket's out of cycle. We get a lock onto the tower. Please save the earthquake. Please save the earthquake. That's enough. Oh, my God. Okay. That should not have been that close.